Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I'm going to continue to share about our Lord Jesus Christ and what he says. Because it's important to know what he says. It's important to lay the foundation in our life on the principles which he set. And I think one of the greatest commands that he gives us is in Luke 14. And this is, this is foundational to our faith in Jesus. And let's start at 26. It says, If any man comes to me and does not hate his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish the building or not? Less happily, after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish the building, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king goes to make war against another king? And does not sit down first and consult whether he is able with 10,000 men to meet him that comes against him with 20,000. Or else while there is other, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends an ambas ambassador and desires conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. So it's important to see what the Lord is saying here. He's saying, if you don't hate your father, mother, wife, children, brothers, and sisters in your own life, you cannot be my disciple. What he's saying is that whatever the Lord commands you has to take priority over everyone else. Jesus first. You know what I mean? Like, if he tells you to do something, and that means that you leave your father and mother behind, then you got to go do it. And if Jesus is commanding you to do something, and your wife doesn't believe in Jesus, then, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's Jesus first, right? With your, with every circumstance in your life Jesus first and even like maybe if we're held and we're being tortured and people are saying you know deny Christ otherwise we're going to take these people's lives are we going to deny Christ in order to spare someone's life which is temporary I don't know I'm just thinking out loud but but there's a path that leads us, and, and the Lord is good. So even though he's saying that you have to hate these people, he's just, he's just saying that you can't let them sway your decision to follow him at all. He has to be a priority, and whatever his will for your life is, is a priority. But he also calls us to be at peace with these people, um, and not to, you know be um, to be in turmoil because we're constantly fighting over these things so he'll give grace to either uh, live with your wife um, if you have to and, and your children and they're not uh, believers I think I don't know I've never been in that position before but I'm just saying that just because you believe and the people in your household do not doesn't mean that you uh, have an excuse, <laughs> you know what I mean? But he's saying, whoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So there's a cross that comes with, with following him. And when we, when we aren't willing to forsake all, like if we think, if, if we think, oh, well, I got to make sure this person too. You know what I mean? Like, we can't, you know, 
start to change our faith in the Lord because of people that we love in our life. We see that they're not changing and that we can't change our beliefs because these people don't believe. And he's saying, you have to bear your cross. You have to follow me even when everybody else is not. You have to lay everything down, even your family. You have to lay this down. And if you don't, you'll be like the person who built a tower and wasn't able to finish. You know what I mean? Or you're going to be like the king that goes to war and is defeated because you didn't forsake everything. You didn't lay down your life. You still held on to things in this world. Um, and, and God... And, and Jesus is calling us to lay it all down. We're having to deny ourselves and take up our cross daily. I don't know. I'll be honest. My life is not my own. I'm not really doing. I can't do what I want to do. I do what the Lord wants me to do. You know. And, and I get to enjoy some of the stuff I do. He has me doing things that I enjoy. But there are a lot of things that I do just because I know I have to. You know what I mean? And it's important to understand that when you're following Jesus, you're not always going to feel like doing what he wants you to do. It's not going to come naturally. It, it, taking up a cross and being crucified is not natural. And it's not something that our flesh desires. It's something contrary to our flesh. So if you're waiting for things to get easy, to deny yourself or to follow Jesus or to whatever, you're never going to do it. You got to do it. You got to, you got to die to yourself. You got to deny yourself. Um, and it, it's, it, you're not ever going to want to do it. If you're waiting till you want to do what Jesus wants you to do, um, it's probably not going to happen. Because you have to deny yourself. And if you don't, you're not going to make it, according to what Jesus says. So let's listen to him. Amen.